French Polynesia. We're live. Hey guys. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> In Morea, got Carlos. Just been knocking back bet. This is live. It's not a photo. Hi. We can't <laughs> cut you out of this one, Carlos. Julie, all of our patrons. Heidi and Lisa. Hi. Okay, yes, this is a spoiler alert. We are in French Polynesia. I get it. In the uh, videos, we are still in Mexico. And uh, let's address this for one second because I've already seen some comments about it. As far as I can see, there are only two solutions to uh, becoming more up to date with real time. That's to skip over all the footage that we've just taken for the last three months or uh, try edit more than one video a week. And Britt and I already work pretty much full time to make this happen for you guys. So what do you want us to do? So spoiler alert, we're here. We made it. But the footage that we're um, about to put out is just too inter interesting. And the reason I'm going live today, one of the reasons is because um, I haven't finished the episode for tomorrow because it's an awesome episode uh, about rigging and we just redo, redid all of our rigging with Jonas who owns um, Selden, Selden Mast. And um, I want to do it and we've been organizing a patron event and I just haven't had time to finish it. So I'm not going to put out a half-assed episode. I'm going to make sure it's a, a good one and it's going to come out next Sunday and it's probably going to be two parts. And then after that, we've got our Pacific Crossing um, episodes so that might be what do you think three parts four parts three or four it's 19 days of just insanity it was just so such a big moment for all of us to, to to go and end up in here in french polynesia so i'm sorry guys but we're coming to you live from french polynesia in the future to to where uh the episodes are what's happening guys yeah i'll try to look at the chat sorry island times Volume's too low. Well, I've got a wind, like, uh, a dead cat on the mic because what we're doing today is we are going from Morea and sailing to Tahiti and it is blowing 20 knots. If you don't believe me, that's the wind vane and it's not saying 20 knots right now. <laughs> 18, 19? 19.3? It's 20 knots, guys. It is blowing its tits off out here. And... We've got 26 people on, on the boat, uh, two boats. We've got We Sail sailing, sailing with us. They've got a YouTube channel, go check them out. They've kindly offered to help us out for this whole three day event. Um, they're rafted up to us right now. Um, so we're gonna um, separate the raft up. We're gonna pick up the anchor. We're gonna put up maybe the mainsail with three reefs in it. And then we're gonna go down inside the, inside the uh, reef. We're, we're tucked in behind a reef right now. I'll show you all of this. Then we're going to come out a tiny little pass and we're going to be out in the open ocean and we're going to get slammed. I've told everybody that <laughs> I've told everybody it's going to be an absolutely horrible couple of hours. And there's a ferry right here in Morea that goes to Tahiti and uh, none of them opted to take the, the ferry. So everyone's feeling really brave and adventurous. Yes, guys, I'll try to read the comments. Hello, Brian from West Palm Beach. How you doing? Um, so yeah, uh, I've got a couple of notes here. I think I covered everything. So without further ado, we're gonna go out there. It's gonna be really windy. I'm gonna try to do my best to, to, to make you hear me. Um, let's go check out We Sail. 780 people, what's happening everybody? All right, couple of comments. Volume, volume, volume. I can't control the volume, hope you can hear me. Coming from the UK. What's happening? Dragon's heart. Okay, this is We Sail. Say hi, guys. Hey. Woo. Woo. Katie. Hi. Jeff. Hello. The big dog. Mr. <laughs> Annapolis himself. This is, this is We Sail. Woo. This is Warren and Erica, hence We Sail. <laughs> this is their boat. It's a Helia 44. Hope you guys can. Can you hear me with all this wind? We hear you. Awesome. That's their boat. That's Parlay. How many people? 26? 26? 26 people out here today. Let's go check out We Sail. Are you guys ready? Ready. Can't wait. Get over here, buddy. It's 
a solid 20 knots out here, right? Yeah. I would say a solid 25, 30. And it's we're going to be damn blustery day. And we're going to be going, we're going to be going into it as yeah. well. So that's 20 knots of true wind. By the time we're out, look what we're going into. It's nuts. It is nuts out there. By the time we go out there, it's going to be 26, 27, 28 30. knots yeah. of apparent wind on the boat. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. I mean, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> Look at this sea state. We, we came in here and it was 35 knots. Um, so, probably should have turned around at that point, but we stuck at it. Now we got to go out into this. All right, should we get going? Yeah. These guys are going to put a bit of sail up. And then uh, we'll untie the two boats. And then uh, Jamie is going to drive us out of here. May the Lord be with us. So, we're at, uh, we've got both boats right now on, a, uh, on one anchor. Our anchor, it's an ultra anchor. And uh, we're in 30 feet of water. And I've got 150 feet of chain out. This boat's 16 tons. That one's about the same. And we're just pulling on the one chain. And we haven't dragged or anything so this is a seriously good anchor um here check it out can you see how hard it's pulling the bridle there um, i always try to do five to one uh, that's five times the depth is how much chain i put out hey daryl what's happening brother daryl's online daryl from precision christian See you in a few days, mate. Christian's the, uh, he won the national uh, Costa Rican surf champs and so did his son. And they're both coming here in less than a week to go surf Chopu. So we're gonna go watch them get barreled. All right, they got the sail about halfway up. Are you gonna pull off? When they're ready, I'm go. You good? <laughs> Robert's got the bow line here. So when we do raft ups, we always have four lines. We have two breast lines straight across on the, on the bow and the stern. And then we have two spring lines. And the spring lines stop the boats from going back and forth on each other. There he goes. Nice throw. There they go. Good luck. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this one. Not for the boat or the crew, just for the guests. Some of these patrons haven't done a lot of sailing before and uh, we're putting ourselves out there in a pretty messy situation. I'd call that six to 10 foot swell and it's all wind chop and um, it's not gonna be pretty. Okay, up goes our sail. We're gonna put in three reefs and because we said it's going to be about 30 knots, three reefs is about what I'd like to have in 30 knots. And we may put no headsail out. We're going directly into the wind, so we may just bear away a little bit and uh, try point at like 40 degrees into the wind. Uh, there we go. There's Kiki. She's been on the boat Yay. for two months. It's her uh, last day today, actually. So, how you feeling, Jamie? So the way the reefing system works on this boat, and every boat's different, is there's a line that attaches to the luff of the sail, which is the front edge of the sail, and the leech of the sail, which is the back edge. So it's on two points, and you pull that down to the boom, which is that horizontal beam there, and it just reduces the amount of sail out there. Can you guys hear me okay? Hope so. And so there's reef three there. So the luff just went tight. See, that's tight. And we just tension the line and the leech will become tight as well. Great sound. Okay, perfect. Thanks guys for your feedback. I'll try to keep reading these comments. I'm so bad at these. I need David Shee. 
He'll talk the leg off a chair, that guy. Okay, so sailors up, three reefs. Time for the anchor. So the key to picking up the anchor is to make sure you're picking it up straight up and down. If it's pulling off to one side or something, you can bend the anchor roller, the thing at the uh, front of the boat there. See that guy? That's the uh, anchor roller. So pulling on that sideways, but also you don't want to be pulling um, the boat forward with your windlass. That's just a little motor there. That's uh, 1700 watts and it's not powerful enough to be dragging the whole boat forward. So whoever's up at the bow today, it's Katie. She's gonna be, she's gonna be telling uh, Jamie uh, where to go and how fast. So we always use a hand action and it's, it's uh, straight ahead for straight ahead, but if it's pulling really hard, we go up like that. And if it's just down a little bit, we go down like that. So then uh, me or Jamie or whoever's driving knows how, knows where the, what the chain is doing. So right now it's, see that? See the chain's nice and straight up and down now. So the water is so clear. We're in paradise, by the way, guys. Can you see this place? Look, this is Morea. We're 10 miles away from Tahiti. Look at these mountains. It's just the most epic place. Then we've got these crystal clear waters all around the boat. Like I said earlier, we're behind this reef here. So we're super protected in here. But as soon as you go out the pass, which is down there, can you see we sail? As soon as you go out that pass, you are out there in, in the elements. Okay, so that's pulling a bit hard. So I'd probably tell Jamie to stop. Like I said, the water's so clear here. Got any questions? I'll, I'll try to read some comments for a sec. Paradise indeed. Yes, Mr. or Mrs. Dragon's Heart. It is absolutely insane. We've been here for a while. Stop, Jamie. Do you have an adjustable backstay? No. So a lot of catamarans have shrouds, these two stays on the side of the boat they're called shrouds and they are um okay so now the anchor's way out to the side they are swept aft so they're, they're swept backwards so because they're backwards from the mast that's what's pulling the uh, that's what's holding the mast up backwards what's up steven the chosen one steve the uh he came across the pacific ocean with us Absolute legend of a crew member. Okay, we're probably about halfway up with the uh, anchor, guys. Wind's still about 20 knots. Right now it is just after three o'clock. Thanks, Sharon, appreciate that. Starlink's working great. Yes, we've got the maritime Starlink happening right now. And we've got, we got about 14 people on this boat right now, so. Uh, everyone's smashing the internet. Look how clear this water is. You can actually see the anchor on the bottom. So because we had two boats pulling on this anchor, that anchor is super deep into the sand. So we're gonna we're gonna strut there it goes. Okay. Jamie's gonna to have to drive over the anchor. So because it's pulling this way, if we drive over the anchor, it'll lift it out like that, and then we can get it up. There's a lot to the sailing stuff. Okay, we're just right above the anchor here. Any need to use an anchor ball float? Yeah. No, not here. In the, in the Tuamotus, we kept having to float the chain so it wouldn't, here we go.
Okay, there you go. Did you see how beautiful that anchor was? Ultra anchor. Did, your anchor is what make, helps you sleep at night, so it's important to get a good one. And there's many good ones out there. Uh, the ones that we, go, we chose is ultra anchor. So as soon as he bears away, or starts turning downwind, we'll be sailing. I'm gonna sail down inside this reef here and uh, see what we're dealing with. But um, we're in about 10 feet of water right now. Thanks for watching, guys. So we're just gonna cruise down here. It might take 10, 15 minutes. I can answer some questions if you want. You guys nervous? Jeff can't wait. Jeff yeah. wants to get out there. This is Jeff. He's the organizer of all the YouTube events at the uh, Annapolis Boat Show. What's happening this year at the show? Well, we have about 35 channels that are going to be there. Um, got a, it's a pretty good lineup. So yeah. it'll be announced in the coming couple of weeks. So you can't you can't give us a spoiler alert. Uh, I can. I, I'm waiting for some commitments. Yeah. But, uh, I think we can. give us one. Give us one big name. Parley Revival. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. How much are you coming? <laughs> We will do our best. It's in October the uh, 12th. October the 12th. We're going to be in Tonga by then, guys. Uh, cyclone season starts officially in November, but that's fine. We're going to be in Tonga in November and try to get to New Zealand sort of mid-November. So uh, that's our plan. Here we go. We're cruising. I'm nervous. What's that? Yeah, you, you can't turn unless you got the head still out. It's a good point from Jamie. Capitano. Uh, you looking forward to heading home to the family? Yeah, for sure. Um, you guys might have seen the episode that we did on Great Barrier Island. That's where my family live now. So we're not actually, I should get out of there. You hear the boys? Yeah, baby. This is, this is Joel. He, uh, hey, we did a draw to see who could come stay with us for a week out of the patrons. And uh, he didn't even properly sign up. He was like, <laughs> he said, put my name down and oh, if I win, shit. I'll come. I was like, that's a bit cheeky, but okay. He put his name in the hat and he won. I said, you're not going to believe this. And uh, he's here for how long? Ten Eight days. Eight nights. Eight like days. Yeah. So even after this finishes tomorrow, he's going to be around. Hopefully we're all good. We've just made sure we stow everything. Everything. As soon as we go out there, it's going to be rolly as hell. Um, but yeah. What a punk. Yeah, that's what I said. He flew all the way from Auckland. They will cut him some slack. That's a long way. Um, okay, I think we've got a couple of comments that I need to read here. Oh no, they're little donations. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. This one, uh, John Eden, Bear Money. Thank you so much. I promise you, I'll put that money on the bar tonight. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. Will we be fishing? Yeah. Every time we're moving, unless we're in a marine park, we're fishing. We had all four rods in, um, coming from Tahiti to Moraya today. A lot of noise. This is. What's this? What's he doing? Sorry guys, we've still got 1,200 people with us, guys. Lagging a bit. Okay, because we're moving actually, and the uh, that's the Starlink dish back there. It's, a, it's the maritime version. It, uh, we're um, very fortunate to have that. It's from FMC Global Sat. They do, uh, they do marine, what do they do? They do internet packages for uh, the maritime industry. And so you just give them an email and tell them what you want and they have hooked us up with the Starlink Maritime with um, that service. So that's how we're talking to you right now. Otherwise, we would not be able to do things like this. So, Greg Starlink to watch us. How do I apply to come crew for you guys? There's a few ways. Um, we did an episode about this not long ago, but there's a few crew websites out there. One's called Crew Bay. That's probably the one I use the most. And um, 
we get a ton of messages and stuff asking to join so I kind of um, vet them a little bit and then there's quite a long process of like video interviews and stuff like that because this is our home guys this is a 45 foot square and we have to live in it with whoever's here and uh, I take that pretty seriously I've had a couple of uh, interesting experiences let's say with crew not really working out the best so now it's, I'm, uh, I'm very very careful about who we let onto this boat and um, right now we have eight crew but every single one of them I've met before so um, yeah we don't just let anyone come on the boat guys and I'm sure you can understand it's equivalent to you um, letting somebody live in your home with you um, I'm sure you wouldn't just let any old person live with you They've got to be. They have the right attitude. They've got to have. Uh, they got to be like-minded in some way. And uh, the, one of the main things is be interested in sailing, not necessarily have sailing experience, but just be interested in life at sea. Otherwise, there's no point being here. So that's what we do for crew. And then every now and then, well, we've actually had them back to back a patron on board, and these are the people that pay to support the channel. So there would be no Parlay revival without them so as a uh, sign of gratitude we try to involve them as much as we possibly can um, such as doing this and people have flown from all around the world to be here and it just blows my mind I'll never get used to the fact that people want to fly that far to hang out with us fly Kiki here how's your trip been epic 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 sad to leave yeah sad to leave Lindo <laughs> my favorite Lindino. Uh oh, sorry, fine. <laughs> Lindo. <laughs> All right, let's let's answer this question, which I get probably 800 times a day. Where do the dogs go poop? They go right here. It's a bit of astroturf, artificial grass, whatever you want to call it, and um, they just automatically go there. I didn't even have to train them, and as soon as they pee or poo on that mat. One of us will clean it and uh, the cycle continues. Lindo sometimes used to go on the trampolines, but somehow he stopped doing that as well. So that's where they go. They get to go to the beach almost every day. If they can, they get to go twice a day um, and run around in there. It cost me about $2,000 in vaccinations and stuff to uh, get them into French Polynesia here. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, all of these rabies, um, tests and vaccinations and stuff like that um, okay you guys ready we're about to approach the pass this is where the holy shit look at we sell We, we sell have just gone out the channel there and they are bouncing around. Okay, we're still in the calms. See, we're still behind the reef. Here we go. It's going to be interesting. How much wind we got, Jamie? 19.5. How many? 19.5. 19.5. Holy crap, Ted Krishna, thank you so much. That is too generous of you. You have a question? Hit me up with a question and I'll uh, do my best to answer it. Somebody's gonna get seasick, 100%. Might even be me. Here we go, it's kinda, I'm, I'm normally up there driving and uh, now I don't have to do anything. I have to talk to you guys. That's what's making you nervous. That's what's making you You don't trust Jamie? Yeah. No, it's you, your control guy. So you want to make sure. But Jamie's got this. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, I'm coming down from Harbor yeah. Red. Paula flew in from uh, LA. LA. And she uh, bought a whole bunch of boat parts for us. Yes. So lucky. We we bought in a new radar, new sail. What did you bring? I just sent a bunch of stuff to well, you. I, well, it was like headlamps and yeah. flashlights and wires. Somebody else, a uh, whole sail and a propeller and, and headphones and I sailed through. <laughs> I didn't pay any tax. 
I didn't pay any tax. Why should we pay tax? We're a, we're a yacht in transit. We're not importing it. Yeah, we're not going to uh, bring it here and sell it. There we go. Look how close we are to the reef here, guys. Okay, this never, ever, ever looks as big as it is on camera. And we're going out there. There's waves breaking right there. Same on the other side. Here we go, you ready? Kia ora Papa Bear. I don't understand why the waves appear out of nowhere. It's because we've been, there's a huge reef here and we've been hiding behind the reef. So we came out of the pass and now we look at this. Woo! About six foot C, I'd say. The free board of the boat's just. Colin, this is important. You have to take this. What's this? <laughs> it's Tahitian <laughs> rum. Tahitian rum. It's a, it's a toast to the old man of the sea. All right, I'm doing it. Has everyone got one? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Cheers, guys. Cheers. We got a over. Was that acetone? Yeah, where was I? Holy crap, thank you for these donations, guys. That's incredibly generous of you. Ah! Phone's getting drenched. Are these waterproof? <laughs> Woo! Jamie's at, what, what is? 19.7 feet for oh. 30 minutes. So I shouldn't drop it here then. Okay. I'll bath for everyone. Got a kilo of coke. <laughs> okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. We're doing all right. We're doing all right so far. This is the worst part. So I'm going to spin the camera directly around and you'll see Tahiti. So that's 10 miles away. Hang on, camera's gone foggy. My phone's drenched. Why am I up here? Oh yeah, give you guys the shot. If I don't have the camera at me, I don't know what I'm filming. Now you don't want to see my face. I hope this phone can handle this. The things we do for these shots, you ready? Can you see the bows coming right out of the water? It's a, this is all wind fetch. This is waves that are created by the wind. The, gr oh. the ground swell is actually from the south. And that's a big... I'm about to fall in the water here. Get 
seasick. Grew up sailing. Hold on to the dogs. Look at the dogs, they, they don't give a shit. Those four-legged beasts, super solid. They've never fallen in. One time, Linda was on the front of the dinghy and he jumped off the dinghy onto a dolphin, but that's another story. Other than that, they've never gone in the water, off the boat or the dinghy, unless I tell them to. We're going to Brando Island. Sorry, I've got no idea where that is. Crew seem happy. This is wild. Yeah, so this is all created by the wind. So for the last... Does this look good on the camera? Look at this. Might look better from back here. Get a wider shot. Okay, this is way better than I thought it would be. I thought we were gonna get rinsed. How's this? again okay oh. let me go inside and we'll do a little q a to finish up oh my phone is so wet um okay that was wild should be better internet if i'm not moving it around as well okay oh man i better clean my phone i can't see anything bear with me and i'll answer some questions guys boat's getting thrown around but you may notice how quiet it is the bulkheads are so strong listen to this the little sound with the hammocks ringing other than that it's silent and the boat's just going left right up down okay let's uh see if you guys want to have a couple of questions answered david david she is back in back in texas uh, hopefully getting his boat ready to go somewhere, I don't know. Not editing enough, I'll tell you that much. I thought I was bad. Um, love the way the sky keeps disappearing. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's really rough. Um, did you have any additional equipment problems? Oh man, that's too many questions. How do you slow these down? Uh oh, not that. Um, seen many whales. Whale season is starting right now and there's going to be humpbacks all over the place which is another hazard while sailing around. Uh, right before we came to French Polynesia uh, from Mexico, two boats hit whales and, and they both sank. One sank within like 15 minutes and that was right before we were about to leave Mexico. So. That put a bit of a chill up my spine, leaving when uh, that had just happened. Okay, fishing rods are going out, guys. Hopefully we get a nice tuna. The fishing has been insane all around the Tuamotus and the Marquesas Islands and that, but here it's, frankly, it's overfished. Um, every man and his dogs are fishermen here. And uh, this is just the, the milk run. Mil Marea to Tahiti, back and forth. That's where, uh, this is, how's this view out the back? Does that look rough? Is it rough? Jeff, we're gonna get a tuna? Try at least mahi maybe. Mahi maybe? I keep getting distracted. I meant to answer questions. Jamie will lose a big mark. <laughs> Might have to save that comment. Um, Project Runway next week. Yeah, apparently. Did you figure an ad for it? They did a, uh, a 
below deck. And these people flew from all around the world, and yesterday it was pouring with rain all day. We went, we went, we had to motor up the coast to a place called Venus Point, and uh, like I said, it was just pouring. So the trip started started off uh, on that note. Chofu Live, you reckon? That'd be a good idea. No swell coming at the moment, but uh, the WSL is coming up on the 11th of August. So all the big names of surfing are going to be right there at uh, Chofu, just getting shacked. Here we go, Florida Adventure Travel. Thank you so much. Oh, how do I say? Thank you so much for all the adventures, the real life you, Jamie and you, keep up the dream. Thank you so much, Florida Adventure Travel. Appreciate that sincerely. Closer to the mic, sorry guys. This is uh, a mic I bought off David Shee. Maybe he sold me a dud. Um, uh, lots of love from Oregon, New Zealand. Thank you, Alison. You got a fish? Okay, let's wrap this up, eh? I gotta uh, see what's going on up top. Any last minute questions? So again, just to touch on this real time thing because it seems to be an issue for so many people. I don't know what to do about it and I think you'll find that most channels are probably around three months behind. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And it's because we just film so much, so many interesting things that uh, I don't wanna just skim over them. I wanna do them justice uh, this Pacific Crossing, so I'm I'm doing the rigging episode, like I said, and that's going to be a master class on, on uh, doing a whole change. Have we got a fish? Oh, love to get a fish for you guys. Linda thinks it's a fish. Um, and, and so I want to make the best episode I can to really uh, show you guys how to do a complete rig change. I'm talking everything. Four stay, shrouds, up uppers, lowers, diamonds, um, and Brit is starting on the Pacific Crossing ones. So eight crew, eight different people from all different walks of life coming together and crossing the biggest ocean in the world. I think this needs to be done properly. And uh, there's no way we're gonna skim over that. We catch some massive fish. We uh, all go through these different emotions. We had, uh, this is my cabin down here. We had a little uh, confession cam sort of set up there and every few days we would go down and all talk about how we were feeling to be so remote in the middle of nowhere, the most remote you can possibly be on this planet, we were there. So um, yeah, some really cool stuff. And then we've got the Marquesas clearing into French Polynesia, the Tuamotu Islands. Uh, this is a spoiler alert, but Jamie and I did a 24 hour challenge on a deserted island and uh, something crazy happened there. Um, all captured on film. We did a 24, no, 48 hour challenge. Katie um, lived in a life raft for 48 hours. So we're trying to make more and more interesting content for you guys. And uh, in order to do so, we kind of have to take our time a little bit and uh, make sure we edit them properly. So with that, I think I will say good evening and good night. We are going to end up in Tahiti in probably a couple more hours. It's pizza night tonight. I've ordered a whole bunch of pizzas. Tomorrow we are going to um, go for another sail, go anchor at a place where there's a sunken airplane and go snorkel on that. And then we're going to probably the best restaurant in Tahiti where the views are absolutely breathtaking. So thank you guys for watching. There's 1,300 of you guys. That is mind blowing. Um, See you, buddy. Eric Let. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Don't go. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. I'm just rambling now. I'll have to get some pointers off David Shee how to just talk shit for three hours. I am not good at it. But, uh, uh, what's that one about Erica? How do I scroll back? Here we go. Uh, oh my goodness. So many messages. I give up. Got anyone who donated, thank you so much. That's gonna go straight on the bar tab tonight after pizza. And uh, love you guys. Thank you for supporting. It means the world to us. And uh, next week, rigging. I edited it. Leave a comment and a like. And subscribe if you are here randomly. Cheers, guys. Bye. Uh-oh.